it takes about half a second to blink an eye. Everybody's here to have a good time. In rodeo, that can be the difference between glory and gloom. And it's especially true in breakaway roping. You kind of have like a timing in your head. One of the best in the sport is 24-year-old Casey K. Webb. You can call the Michael Jordan of the game, the Tom Brady of the game. She started back in seventh grade. I think I knew the moment that I got on a horse when I was little. I used to always be on my pony. My dad could like basically not rip me off my horse at all. Despite being the top pro, rodeo is only a part-time job. Um, I got a glimpse of what it was like to be a normal nurse without COVID, and then it was all taken away. <laughs> Webb started as an ICU nurse in January of 2020. Just seeing so many sad things over and over again, it kind of starts to wear on you. And I think it was really traumatic for me and for a lot of nurses. Trying not to bring COVID home to her family, she lived out of a trailer for more than six months. I was so scared at first and I wanted to protect them. I, I didn't want to live with the fact that I gave them a disease and caused them to, to die. In July 2021, with hospitals still full, Webb competed in one of three rodeo majors. He is cool, calm, and collected. All business, ready to go. Let it fly! Oh! After a year and a half, Tell me we're clean. Of overnight shifts in an overcrowded ICU, she won her first major. So fans, you tell her something. The win also set her up for something no one has ever done. WCRA's Triple Crown of Rodeo pays any athlete who comes in first at three consecutive majors one million dollars. It's gonna be really hard to do, but I'm shooting for it. In a world that comes down to the blink of an eye, Winning three times in a row takes more than just skill. There's so much room for error, so it really and truly just like has to be perfect and set up perfect to, to win first. In December, she came to Fort Worth for the next major, needing another win, win to keep the journey going. Yes, ma'am. Hello. That is a million dollar smile, rightfully so. She left one win away from becoming the first millionaire woman in the sport. I feel like rodeo is very humbling, so I always try to remember how terrible it can go. It would be six months of working through Omicron surge, practicing on weekends and nervous waiting before she'd get the chance to go for the Triple Crown. My coworkers bring it up all the time. They're like, okay, are you gonna quit if you win the million dollars? And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna quit. She first had to qualify for the top two before riding for a million dollars. I really think I will just lay it all on the in the Lord's hands because ultimately, if, if it's my time, it's my time. She knows what the pressure's like. And a 2.68, she is number two with two girls left to go. In rodeo, glory and gloom can be separated by one hundredth of a second. A junior American champion for Jade and a quick throw at him here today. And Jade Kenny, and unfortunately, by just that much, is going to bump Tacey K. Webb. Webb's ride may have ended. I compete against so many girls and they're all tough. But it's far from over. It's been a really fun ride. In Dallas. Just going to try to go rope another one. I'm William Joy.